Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So we are speaking about Metacritic again and the scores for The Last of Us Part 2. And here we have an article from a website called playstationlifestyle.net. There is PlayStation in there. Anyway, let's just talk about this article and, and talk about what is in there. And you will see the bias. It says that review bombing has been somewhat of an issue on Metacritic for a long time. Not really, because there hasn't been much of a discrepancy between critic scores and user scores until probably recently in very specific cases like this game and they say it arguably hit a new low score once the last of us part 2 released this month within hours of the sequel's launch people who hadn't even played the game were overwhelming metacritics user reviews with an absurdly low scores not all people who went on metacritic to give a score played the game they shouldn't even play it because it's a story driven game so you can know what is happening in there at least in the story it doesn't really justify the zeros but it does show that the people were angry with the story of the game now let's look at metacritic here so the game is sitting at 5.3 now the majority of reviews are more positive than negative so we have 57,000 and change for positive and 56,000 and change for negative. Does this really mean that the people who gave a good score are the ones who are legit and the others who gave a bad score aren't legit? It's an absurd thing to say and there is clearly shilling for the game as much as there is also trolling on the negative scores. So this idea that the game is getting only hate is not really true. There are shills out there who will tell you that the game is a 10 out of 10 when even the meta score for critics isn't a 10 out of 10 or a 100 at this point and bear in mind they speak about the meta score here 105 positive 8 mixed and the negative there are negative ones but they haven't been addressed yet and they haven't been given a score yet so this game will sit around 92 i believe something like that because there's still polygons article kotaku vice all of these media that didn't really like the game but didn't give a specific score so let's carry on with this website says a post on reset era okay wait 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 a second reset era this minuscule laughable site that banned angry joe and skill up because they didn't like the last of us part 2 it is just a joke so i'm just going to skip on this another thing says will this solve the review bombing issue at large it seems unlikely trolls probably don't mind having to wait a couple of days this certainly appears to be a step in the right direction however Okay, so Metacritic is like telling you you need to wait a couple days to give your score to a game, which is not really a very clever idea because as the article here says, trolls will wait and not just to review a bomb a game in the negative way but also in the positive way, in the shilling way. And to talk about review bombing and trolls, I want to show you something very important. So this is the Taiwan page for The Last of Us Part 2. So it's the official PlayStation Store web page and people who actually bought the game generally dislike it and they give it two stars and a half, which is like five out of ten. So are these people also trolls? The Japanese PlayStation Store web page, people there give it three stars and a half and the Korean page gives it also two stars and a half. So are these people trolls in your opinion? If you go to the American one, it's more like four stars. So it's not a 10 out of 10 stunning and brave. There are people who legitimately don't like the game. In fact, if you look at The Last of Us Part 1, you will find that it's got five stars. So for this website to go out of its way and to say that trolls are review bombing the game in a negative way, that's a very blatant lie. That's a very blatant shill for the game. And here is the thing. If Metacritic wants to be really a legitimate website to look at scores, they should link their websites to the stores of the games so that the people who buy the games will give their honest opinions about it. But as long as this hypocrisy goes on and people chill in for The Last of Us Part 2 and no one is talking about it but only talking about the people who don't like the game, Metacritic will always stay a joke of a website that doesn't really reflect anything about the general opinion about games anyway thank you for watching if you enjoyed please leave a thumbs up and subscribe i will talk to you again soon have a good one